10 years and my son and I staying for the wrong reasons. Hi all. I need to write about my current situation and hear some input from people that don't have any relation with us. My wife and I have been together for 10 years, two of them married. I'm M27, she is F25. Our son is 3 years old. I suspect the affair since the beginning, but could never find any evidence, she never admitted it when I asked her. We always had open accounts on everything, but I did not use it. My thought was always if someone wants to cheat, he can do it regardless. My motto was catch them, dump them. But even when I started to suspect, there was nothing to be found. She had an ear for 9 months, PA for 6 months. I finally was able to find the WhatsApp chat and had to read through one full month that was damn hard. Well, at first I found another bit and she admitted to one time few days later I found the rest and she had to admit everything. Co-worker married I spoke to OBS with three kids s time at workplace, two ex in a hotel where she was on a seminar. I went full 180 and took off with 300 miles per hour without even knowing about the 180. STD, paternity, lawyer. She cut contact to AP and immediately wanted me to stay. She told me she knew how wrong it was and that her reasoning for it was also bullshit. It was that I gave her less affection of cur I did after I suspected the affair, that I didn't respect her job she went to work 25 hours to be able to care for our son and household and that I wasn't empathic enough for her situation. The thing about her job, was that overall for the last year she wasn't home in the evening for more than 100 times because of late shifts. Plus, Saturday work. That made me really unhappy as this wasn't how I imagined family life. I told her about it and we really don't suffer any financial crisis. I made about 270k last year, she made 14k. But notice that I'm also only working 30-35 hours but I wasn't there often enough. I took care of our son when we were both home too because she had so much to do. Still, she told me she was happy that she was appreciated at a job for the first time in her life and that I had to keep my mouth shut well she didn't tell me in that way, but. Anyway, the list goes on, but she admits that she was just spoiled and always had everything in her life, started at her parents. She also said she didn't know if that was everything in life and she felt that she has reached everything and felt stuck I also offered her counseling for this before the affair, as I expected it to happen. She never was grateful or appreciated what she had in life. I was always there for her. In all 10 years, through good times and bad times. She was sick when we were together for one year and nearly died was bed sick for nearly five months afterwards. I was there. I am a good father, doing really many octavite alone with him to provide some free time for her. I know it sounds dumb and everyone will think, well there was something you didn't give but I did. He offered her more affection and attention of course, as he didn't have to deal with everything I had. Well, she went full on mode, quitting job I stopped her as this would be unfavorable for me in the divorce, answering every question I had, being more attentive and caring, fighting for me with everything she could, got a new number. When I told her it was over I really meant it that way, I've told her for 10 years that it is unforgivable for me to cheat, exposed the affair to friend and family, I went single on social media, etc. No interest in taking her back. She cut contact with her best friend and bridesmaid who knew about it and who even wrote me what a wonderful woman my wife is, that she would never do this, when I confronted her for the first time. 
It really made me think that I'm paranoid and stupid, that I am wrong with my thoughts. She would will sign a post up not only conditional for infidelity, but I demanded that she will receive just enough to move out in any case our marriage goes down the drain. I went out and made out with two girls as I thought am I no man any longer. Didn't pursue any further and didn't leave with them toe. I knew I was wrong and emotionally and went on pause mode while she was still living within our house. Talked much to her, tried to understand her better. And I thought I really need to try her, because if I don't I might regret years later what could have been. So I really thought about her and saw that I could be happy with her as a person. That I still loved her character outside of lying and cheating. Told her, that 100% honesty is going to be most important right now and she should come clean with anything else. Because there was some sort of blackmailing happening five years ago, where she convinced me that nothing happened a friend of mine happened the exact same thing and he was really not guilty so I believed her. I had no reason to not believe her, we were just two months away from moving into our new house. She never did anything wrong. And what she describes as bad habit from me setting my standard upon all others helped her. I would never and have never cheated on her. She told me that nothing happened back there. Well, one day later I receive an email from someone anonymous that he she saw about my relationship change and wanted to tell me that she in fact cheated five years ago. I confronted her and she admitted it. She had a two months affair back there when his wife found out. Reasoning, she was virgin when we came together and thought that she missed out. Spoiler, she did not. Our S time was really good, multiple orgasm, S wording, she couldn't really miss anything and. I was too still I thought it's worth to just dismiss the thoughts for a perfect woman I thought. If you read this far and think what a shit show. Well, it goes on. With the second discovery I went full D and already had everything in line with the lawyer. I told her if there is any good human left in her she should tell me everything so I can try to treat her as a normal being for our son, because we will need to stay in contact for him. She admitted a one time s time for the boyfriend of her best friend. They are living in an open relationship and he always wanted to have s time with her. It happens to be that he inherited more than 10 Mio and asked his girlfriend they are not married to have s time with my wife to split the assets and money. Sounds stupid. Well they even got a contract and my wife showed it to me. She did it for her best friend. She must have never told me about this, because there is also a clause in it that no one may ever know about it. Also at this moment our relationship was also over, no incentive for her to come clean. Now, if I read this from any other person in the world I would scream Ruyuan. I also want to. Because who knows what else is hidden. Well I did. Told her it's over, went single mode and met other women. Went out again, made out with two women again, but this time I went home with one of them. I couldn't even have s time with her because my guilt killed btw. How ducked up do you have to be to cheat in a good relationship? Cut off all contact with other women. When I woke up in another bed I realized that this also isn't the life I wanted. I know what I always wanted. A fully functioning family with a kid. Not a divorced patchwork family. I hate the thought about it. I hate the thought about a new man and father figure for my son even more than I hate the thought of another man with my woman. Now here is where I need input because my brain is playing tricks on me. I'm not staying for my son only I'm staying for me. 
I want that family. I want wife and son. I want time together. I don't want to be a single father. I hate him being sad and desperate if we divorce, but I know that we can't make him happy if we aren't happy in our marriage. I wanna cry my heart out even thinking about how bad it will be for him. But I know we would need to go through this hell if I can't be happy with my wife any longer. Another info, I had a vasectomy and won't be able to have another family. If she is the best wife in the world from now on, does the past really matter? It has already happened. Divorce is not only her punishment, but also my son's and mine. It won't bring any redemption. Everything should be about the future and how myself will be happy in the future. If I meet a new girl now, I would also have to deal with her past s timeual actions which might be even worse. Is it wrong to think that if we start over now, that I have to accept her past? If I meet someone no who was in a relationship for 10 years or single and on her prowl there was much more s timeual action involved than what my wife did. After reading about narcissism here I googled the facts. And I have to admit that some traits are describing me, not her. I nearly told her exactly that I'm a 100% person that our marriage will never be 100% again, and I'm not sure if I want that. And I think my life will never be 100% again but it always was. I am that overachiever at work, top 200 sales worldwide in top 30 fortune 500 company, etc. some traits fit. Am I the ashole here? Even her family ensures that I'm not and that I was always really really good to her. Might have to get myself checked at some professional. Will I ever know if she's faithful now? Is it really possible for someone to change? I always assume no it's not. I also couldn't become a lying cheater, why should it work in the other way? She told me she never changed or ended it earlier because she never had any consequences in her life. Now she saw what she did to me. How I broke down initially and cried like a baby for the first time since, I don't know, I was a baby. That the affair was just dumb and not love. That she wants our family. She didn't see it earlier. Can I live with everything that I don't know what else might have happened? I don't want to go full R and receive another info of the past in 1 10 or 20 years. And think to myself as I do today, you should have left 5 years ago. I know I wouldn't live a bad life after divorce. I would say 50-50 custody and stay in the house, she would move out and get some money from me. I could have a great single life and be a great partner for another wonderful woman, which respects me more and loves me more. But I still hate the thought of killing my family. It feels so ducking unfair that I stayed faithful all the time. There were dozens of opportunities, but I didn't even let anything emerge and immediately went 180 on these women. Even reading this makes me realized of how ducked up I am or my wife is. That I should end this. But why am I leaning into believing her that I am a new person's story? She lied so often and much, why should it be true now? Where do I draw a line and end? Wow, it really makes me think how ducked up I am for considering R. To be honest. If we didn't have a family, I would definitely be out, no chance to get back to me after infidelity. 100% deal breaker. But now I'm thinking about 80% happiness factor in life with staying with her. Maybe only 70% when leaving and living patchwork. I'll never achieve my 100% again unfortunately. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1, what is the matter with you? Has any of your friends, 
slap you upside your head. How can you even think for a nanosecond to stay with this woman? You couldn't live long enough to endure the amount of counseling she needs to fix whatever twisted s it is going on in her mind. You got one chance at this thing called life. Don't waste any more time on her. You've already wasted far too much. Redditor 2 Anyone who left their cheating spouse and rebuilt can attest that you'll never have 100% of what you had with them. It's usually only between 120% and 170%. Redditor 3 Wow, when the chips are down and her back is up against the wall, she sure knows how to ole you for a fool. Multiple affairs. Lies right to your face as easily as other people say good morning. No sorrow, guilt, or remorse until caught. The she is all oaths, vows, and promises that this time she won't screw around on you. She is scared that her well-paid chump is leaving her. So she is pulling out all of the stops to keep her ATM at home. This is the same scam she has been pulling on you right from the start. And you fell for it again. If a friend told you this story of Chumptum you'd hit him with a 2 by 4 until he came to his senses. There is exactly 0% chance she will be faithful to you this time, or any time. If you take her back after all of her lies, open disrespect, and cheating, the you are tacitly agreeing to an open poly relationship. You won't even have to get used to being in an open relationship with your wife. You have always been in an open relationship with your wife. Redditor 4, I don't understand this post. You made one on relationship advice 66 days ago and in your final comment, you said it was over with her and you are filing as she kept lying and lying. Now you found out about more of her lying, and you still want to stay. Man, I seriously doubt you make good money or work for a Fortune 500 company because your comprehension skills are basically zero. This seriously sounds like a troll post if you ask me. You keep backpedaling so much that I can see why she cheated on you. You have no self-respect or any conviction to do what you are going to do. Redditor 5, what can she possibly do to make it up to you? Give you her cell phone she can get a burner, give you all her email passwords she can make new ones. Quit her job she will find a new office romance to cling to. Cut off contact with AP she can restart when you not looking. Even if she does permanently cut contact it doesn't matter because even if she hadn't slept with him she would have done it with someone else. Mm -hmm.